Look at deer. Running. I was gonna challenge it to a race, but I got the this thing with Yeah, that deer. That deer didn't want any. I would totally smoked him. Scared cat. Oh, he's coming. Saturday morning. Say hi Saturday morning. Daddy's getting ready to go on his Saturday run. long run. How many miles? How many? 50. 50? No, I wish I could do 50 on a Saturday. No, Daddy's going to do 13. Can we count to 13? Yeah. One, two, come on, count to 13 with me. One, two, three, five, six, eight, nine. 10, 12, 13. So daddy is gonna put Shay Carl, Shay Carl's back on for you. Then I'm gonna go run, how many? 13 miles. And then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go do some fun stuff, okay? What is it? I don't know. We're gonna... I wish we could go to Disney World. Disney World too. All right, I'll be back. Mm. See, and I always forget all of my stuff. We use everything I'm supposed to have. My vest. Uh, here it is. My vest. And my bottles. Put my bottles. This is every time. Every time I go somewhere. I've already lost my watch this morning. I had to go digging that. I hid it for myself by putting it in a container so I wouldn't lose it. And I lost it. Got to find my bottles somewhere. <laughs> I gotta go find the bottles. Okay. Just realized why I couldn't find the bottles and I'm running around with my vest. The bottles were in the vest. Yeah. Alright. We're out here. Getting ready to take off. Gonna do another test with the vest today. I've only used it on the trail. I'm gonna use it for 13 today. Out on the road. It's a beautiful day. It looks like it's High 30s, low 40s right now, not too bad. So we're gonna go see how this uh, how this works out. I'll try to film a little along the way to see if it works the way it's supposed to. Kind of just check in here and there. All right, running uphill here, coming up on mile one, feeling pretty good. The vest isn't too bad. Sorry, I didn't bring my selfie sticks. I'm holding this in my hand. Didn't eat a lot. I only had a banana, one little cutie pie orange, and a uh, Stinger wafer, which I highly recommend if you look at the fuel. Stinger wafers are the best. I'll tell you one thing. Running this vest really makes me happy I was born a male. No offense, ladies, but this is, can get really annoying. Mile two, still making good time. Long, slow run. Get it done, people. Really enjoying it. All right, three miles right now. I don't know if you can hear me. Averaging about 906 a mile. Not bad for the long, slow run. Check back in later. All right, right about four miles. It's a little hill I always walk up. Walk a lot of the hills. Doesn't really do you any good. I was afraid I'm a Terra. See these tins or something run up this thing. Four miles. Nine more to go. Hope you guys are getting ready to get out and get to running. It's beautiful out. Get out there now. All right, guys, mile five. This has me uh, think about a question or a comment I get all the time when I talk about ultra running. Because they always say things like, oh, 
you know, I only run 5Ks or 10Ks and you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm just as proud now when I finish a 50 as I was when I finished my first 5K. It's not about ego. It's not about showing off. Because I could And people make these comments that kind of self-deprecate and put down their achievements. And that kind of uh, really bothers me because all I want to do is help people with running. I love answering questions. I do it all the time. I have friends send me messages and I love to, to talk about this stuff and talk about my lessons learned. It's not about ego. Most people who find out the miles that I run and that I do ultras, they think it's stupid to even run that far. So it's not about ego. I could care less what anyone thinks about how far I run. I do it because I love it. And I'm just as proud now when I finish a 50, when I finish my 24 hour race, I'll be just as proud as the day I finish my first mile or my first 5K. So be proud of what you do. Be proud of the miles that you do. We all started somewhere, and you may never want to go beyond that distance, but you should always be proud of what you do, getting out and moving, especially since most of the country is not getting out and moving. You should be proud that you're up running and doing anything at all. So keep that in mind when you talk to other people that not all of us do this for ego. We do it because we love to and that we want to help people. All right, mile six. Still make a good time. Still about 906s, 907s. Beautiful day out here. Hope you can hear me. It's a little windy up here. Checked in, eight miles. Doing good. Still, uh, Picking up the pace a little bit. I slowed down, just feeling good, so I'm sure that will change soon. It's one of the things that happens in running. If you're feeling good, you don't have to worry about it. We'll go away. Be soon. Ah. I'm just kidding. All right, walk for a second. Mile nine. The wind isn't blocking us up. Mile nine. Hope you guys have to get done watching this. We'll get out there and find something to do. It isn't about distance. It doesn't matter whether or not you just get up and go walk around the mall, go for a hike, grab your kids, go walk around a trail that's near you, just get out and get moving. That's all you gotta do. I would love uh, for anyone and everyone to comment down below about what you did, what you're gonna do on Saturdays. It's my typical Saturday morning. Get out and get moving. Look at deer. I may have done a little miscalculation, but 9.7 and I'm 5.15 miles from my house. And I gotta run that back, so. 10 miles, and I'm serious. I want all you guys to comment what it is you did today to get up, and just move around. Let's sit around and watch YouTube videos all day. So I don't know who would do that. Not me, of course not me. You know what I'd like to do? Since the shaytards are such a big part in my house, and we religiously watch them, Shay. I challenge you to do a marathon now. We meet up. we we'll run a marathon together. Maybe not an official one. But you get time. Let's do it. I'll get you to do an ultra marathon jet. You can do it. Alright, 11 miles. I'm still averaging 919. All these little walking breaks are slowing the average down, but that's negligible. I want to be about a minute and a half to two minutes outside of my, or above my marathon goal time. Yes, I train for the marathon and ultras at the same time. So I'm hoping to crush four hours in a Marine Corps marathon 
this October in the ultras. Just hoping to, to do better. Never going to be competitive in them, so I enjoy doing them and running them and finishing them. That's it. Mile 11. Running low on water. I love rocks. Rocks are so pretty. Look at that. I love rocks. Alright, 12 miles. Well, almost 12 and a half miles. Start to space out. Here we go. 12 miles, 12 and a half, 12.44. Thirteen miles. I'm out of water. I still have probably another mile and a half, almost two miles. I need to follow my own advice. All right, perfect pace for a long run. Just a slow long run is two hours for the half marathon. So finishing it up. Finish for 14.1 miles. Two hours, 11 minutes, 29 seconds. Great workout. I'm going to go spend time with the family. I hope you guys get a little bit of motivation from this. You get outside and do something today. You know, every single one of you has this in you. Maybe not the mileage. Maybe not the running. But every single one of you has it in you to get out there and do something more than what you're doing right now. Get disturbed. Get tired of the current situation you're in. Eat healthy. Take care of your body. It's the only one God gave you. Just take care of it. Get moving, people. You got this. Seriously. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, so we're going to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Woo! Now what are we going to go do? We can go watch YouTube. We can watch YouTube, but we're going to go out as a family and do what? You don't know? Guess what? We're gonna find out. Bye.